and they had their difficulties this year. Oh, say. <laughs> I need the words. Try Tony. Nice try here, too, by Mike Lacoste and Enos Cabell on the pop foul to the bullpen area. Another anxious moment on this pop by uh, Lloyd Mosby and Dave Collins of Toronto, who have their problems. Whoa. Now, a new approach to coverage of the bunt by Bob Boone and Doug DeSensei of the Angels. Yeah. Fly ball, center field, Candy Maldonado of the Dodgers with an adventure. <laughs> on the other hand, some defensive gems the past month. On the fly ball, from out of nowhere, Henry Cotto of the Cubs with a super catch. Here's another beauty off the pop foul. Yankee rookie Mike Pagliarulo to the dugout for the catch. Oh, my. Danny Heap of the Mets lifting one. Now, here comes Dale Murphy of the Braves on the slick, wet grass. We had our share of disagreements the past month. Yogi Berra, unhappy with the ump, expresses his thoughts, as does the plate umpire Joe Brinkman. His Cleveland manager, Pat Corrales, not pleased with the call. He fires bats from the bat rack. Man losing touch and nearly hit the umpire. Pat Zachary of the Dodgers, not happy about being removed from a game, keeps sharp objects away from this man. To the unusual, now watch closely. You'll see in the near court, Ily Nastasi backhand hits the linesman on the head. And a different form of boxing, Bernard Taylor and Myron Taylor hitting the canvas, wrestling style. Back to baseball, Lee Smith of the Cubs showing us his phantom pitch. Ooh. Tim Conroy of Oakland with a bizarre delivery that Dave Winfield could not believe. And Jeff Robinson of the Giants, his version of a slip hit. Now, here's a new category for us. Uh, Brian Day out of the Yankees with this drive. Rudy Law of the White Sox deflects it over the fence. Home run. Ooh. And here is Bobby Gritch shot to center. Now, this is gone. Home run. But watch Omar Marino of the Yanks attempt to claim that he caught the ball. <laughs> and a month of hard hits off the grounder. Alan Wiggins of the Padres sent flying. Give Wiggins a 9-5. Just the other day, fly ball hit by Fred Lynn in the sun field, which cost Chet Lemon beam. Good, nice. And how about the Cubs getting this ricochet double play to end the game as captured by Cub announcer Harry Carey.